He's only still very young. Jess Nevers gets a good piece of that. Tracking under it is Blight, who makes the first out for the Seacom Tigers. Welcome back to the C-Max Premier League. Great work in the outfield. Good early call. Reads it well in the pocket. Gets a good piece of that. Straight to the shortstop. Throw to first. That's another out. Rosa Vergara. About in the uh, interview yesterday was that she just loved her feet, like in the sense that she's just... Jess oh. Maslin gets a piece of that, just shoots through Mitzi's glove. It was going, wasn't it? That was, that was a rocket of a ball. Come on, Roger, come on, Roger. Ooh, That's a big swing and miss, but it's a drop third strike. They need to get some cover at the plate. And gets a huge piece of this. It's going to the center field. Tracking under it is Jazz Blight. Havis gets a piece of this one. It is up high, tracking underneath it. Taylor Chillingworth. Oh, that one was moving around in the sky a little bit. You could see her readjust a couple of times. Not throwing hard. No. She's throwing this with as much spin as possible. Havis. Oh. Great effort. What a great effort. That's the... Uh, that's a contender for C-Max, uh, Amber Hood style in game two. And we all sort of thought the play was dead, but Havis kept on going. She knew where it was, takes it right in front of it, running in towards near the fence. That's a great, yeah. So that when they do put the great ball into job. play, just like that. That is a perfectly They're execute. halfway to first and rounding third oh. and coming home, Port Adelaide bringing Tolia. Wow. And that's a slap that turns into a ball. That's the danger. For Zoe Thompson. That's the danger of what you can see done there uh, on the C Max Premier League replay. You can see that the center field's come across and done actually a good job. Didn't even extend it. She just left the bat there and a job done. Lucas sends the runner uh, much with the bat. Gets a piece of that one. It's going to find a, a run. gap. Zoe Thompson rounding third, coming oh, home. So that's how we quick. That's Jordan Harris level quick. That's crazy. Like that is already incredible at the... speed. So Chillingworth gets a piece well, of that one. Straight to the shortstop. Oh, double play opportunity. Oh, 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 and it's called out. Double play. How often do you see that happens with a runner on a base and uh, yeah. especially at first and then a line drive goes to the shortstop? Well, you see here on the C-Max Premier replay, Neves has come off. It does, well, I wouldn't say it was a hit and run. But she did kind of lead a long way off. The important thing there was that Havis had already set herself up and she was nice and far out. And so the DFS Tigers get a very, very valuable... Uh, what a change-up. Oh, chases after that one. Scooped up. No! Oh. Missed opportunity there. Adaha Munro makes it to first. And the Seacom Tigers have their first base runner. But... When you're facing the power of Grau, as Lee would say. Ooh, gets a big piece of that one. That is going left field, tracking underneath it. Pearson, but it's dropped. Johanna Grau rounding third. Standing up safely. Yep. Jess Maslin gets a piece on that one straight away. Becky Havis. All about learning, especially when you're a young player. Look at that. Shalice Callahan bringing oh, home oh, no. Johanna Grauer. Bit of a bobble ball out there. Shalice Callahan rounding second. Going to stay put there. Gemma Letton gets a huge piece of this. Tracking under it is Blight, but that was always going to be a difficult catch with the Sun. Gemma Letton advancing to second, bringing home Callahan, and the Magpies' bats are cracking. Charlie Nash gets a good piece of that one, scooped up by the shortstop, checks the runner, throws to first, makes the out. Gemma Letton challenging the arms of the Seacom defense and sliding home safely. Just big piece of the ball in. from that. Oh, what an oh. effort. So it's up running. Yeah. But her hands are steady, and that's why she's Gets able to... another big piece of that one. Control Once the again dropped, almost the exact same spot. Brings in Tolia. And Zoe Thompson, two for two on the running slap. Coaching by Lucas. Jess Nevers, good piece of the ball here. 
that's going to roll to the center outfield. Oh, aggressive base running by the Port Adelaide, that's but it. they are going to get caught out on that one. Havis wow. gets a big piece yes. of that one. That is landing fair, bringing in one run, bringing in two. She's rounding second and going for third. Safe, have a day out, Havis. And look at, big, look at the Tigers, look at the, the DFS Tigers, Daniel for schools. Gee, that was a great shot oh. of a pitcher of this quality. Yeah, she has been super impressed. And again, we're talking, Lee, about some of these other other batters getting beaten for pace on the end of the handles. Look at Munro here. She's come up and she's right on the end of the bat. Yep. Havis is respected. Chases after that one, and that is a strikeout to get out of the innings. Left fielder. Yo Grauer gets a piece of that one. Up the middle. Darts its way through gloves. Rounding for third is Taylor Chillingworth. Speed on the bases, making opportunities here for the Magpies. Three. Ball passed, and that's going to bring Chillingworth home for another Port Adelaide Magpie. Run. Jess Maslin, big piece of the ball. It's high in the air, tracking it. Drops fair. Johanna Grauer will step over home plate. Get out. So, Callahan. Shelley's Callahan, good piece of the ball. That one's going to land fair. Jess Maslin holding up at second. Letton gets a good piece of that one. Tracking under that one is Blight. Makes the out. Runner stay put. Gets a good piece of that one. Straight oh, to Havis. That was stepping handy. on the bag. Caught looking yeah, there. Yeah, That's tough. That's real tough. But Blues...